Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be installing Infinite at Pokemon Infinite Fusion on mobile. Do know that it only works on Android. So first thing we're going to do, go to your browser, go to JoyPlay's Patreon. You don't need to join them, just go down to the bottom. Do you want the latest update for JoyPlay, RPG plugger, plugin. The Ren Player plugin and the Ruffle plugin. If you need them all or not, I don't really know, but it's just best to get them all. You, know, you do certainly need the RPG Mega though. So all you do is go download, take it to the Mega, and download from there. Alright, once that's downloading, then you can go to, you can Google Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Go to the Pokemon Community page. Scroll down to all the text. You want to find the downloads. I'm going to go open. Some people have gotten the 5.1.1 version to work. But it's easy if you just go to the 5. I've got older version. Go to the Fusion 50364 version, not the full one. Tap on it, tap download. I've already got it. Okay, so once that's downloaded, it will take a bit. You also will want to download WinRAF on your phone as well. Okay, so then we go to WinRAF. You want to find where you've downloaded it to, so downloads. Alright, then we tap on that one. Because there's a lot of files, it will take a while to read. And then you'll want to extract all this. Like when I did it, it took me about two hours. So yes, it will take a little bit. Then once it's extracted, you should have a nice little file with everything in there. Okay, so once you've done that, you then need to set up JoyPlay. You want to go back to your JoyPlay. Oh. You're going to install JoyPlay first. We're going to Files, Channel Storage, Download. Find your install files. And once they just tap on them, and then if you want to install. I need to, as I've already done it, if you want to install everything you've downloaded. Don't need to worry about them them free. You're gonna to go to JoyPlay. First up you'll probably you'll need to configure your control pad. You can copy what I've done, so first button Z, second button X, third button C C but four but A, S and Q, let me go save. Then you want to hit the plus button. Add game. Do you want to choose? Choose and we find where we extracted Infinite Fusion from. You want to tap the game XE. And then I'll come up with names and etc. And then yeah, then you tap on that. And it will load up. Does take a while, as yes, because there is over like a hundred thousand different potential Pokemon in the game. There is a lot of PNGs. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. And huzzah, it is going. And come and start playing the game. Do know that we'll be I 
at any time. Joy play for the first time and try to load a game, it will ask you to download the MX, uh, MX RPG XP uh, runtime, which will take you to the website. So, yes, you'll tap the RPG runtime XE and then it'll ask you to find it and install it. It will just give you a simple, a simple little XE file like this. Run that, and then yes, you're all good to go. You can be playing your lovely Pokemon game, Pokemon games. So this method will let you play most uh, RPG Maker games. I've got a couple here. In winter. Yeah, they're all old versions, but yes. Yes, lagginess and that will depend on your phone. Anyway, y'all, hope you'll enjoy this lovely little tutorial today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.